So since this little baby wanted to be an asshat this morning. Hey. Hey. Yeah. We're up and at him pretty early this morning. I swear to God, if she was an ugly baby, I would have thrown her. So where I failed yesterday was I didn't show uh, the completed uh, project. Well, not completed, but where I ended yesterday. Um, so we're going to do that now. So <clears throat> as you can see here, we have all the framework in for the plywood subfloor before the uh, the tile uh, goes down but that's where we are going to leave it currently because I have to get insulation cut and stuff down in there before I close up this hole because it cannot fit through that hole that was the whole plan in the beginning. So there's a couple different routes we can take today. Uh, I'll step back. As you can see, this door uh, that's in there currently is way out of square. Way beat up on. And we have a replacement for it right here. And this door is much bigger than the opening. So we have to make that bigger. Also, the jam is wider than what we have. So that's a route we can take. It's going to be an endeavor all in itself. Uh, luckily for me, it's the middle of July. And uh, there's no rain for the foreseeable future. I also have a pit bull, an American Staffordshire Terrier, and a Belgian Malinois that would dare anyone to walk through my open door. So if I don't have a door for a night, so be it. I also could address this issue. This was the main cause of the crumbling foundation. Whoever poured this asphalt in there uh, didn't know what rain was or did not care what the effects of water did. Um, I'm thinking it's going to be the latter of those two. And now, as you can see, all the water would just run right down there, pull up right over here, crumble my foundation, eat that freaking plywood that used to cover it. So the plan is, is to take it back here, back here, back there, Frame it all in, pour it all with concrete, and make a sloped lid so I still have access down into my crawl space. All of these are going to be endeavors. We just don't know which route we're going to take right now. Lastly, the wife gave the green light to just reside this whole section of house. Uh, it's a good thing because it's definitely needed it. As you can see, I have a plant growing in back behind there. Also, about the code thing, um, I don't know what the current codes are. I don't know. Only damn code I know is the up, down, up, down, left, right, select, start. Uh, but, uh, it, it appears as though... They did the same exact thing as I did for the foundation. So I don't believe I'm in the wrong as far as doing my foundation the way I did it. But as you can see, 
they have that red brick there red brick there and uh i'm just hoping i don't open a can of worms when i go to rip off the rest of this siding uh, I haven't got the first clue as to why in the world they tried to uh, seal off my vents for my crawl space. Um, that's not a good thing. We have to allow that space to breathe. Uh, so we have to clean those out and get air moving through there again. So maybe get another cup of coffee in me. And then we'll just go ahead and see where today takes us. Look at that. Would you just take a look at that hairdo, dude? Are you still going to grow the mullet, son? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I just went to sleep with my hair wet. Oh, okay. Well, how smart are you feeling today? I'm pretty smart. Can I trust you with a tape measure? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm not blind yet. How big is your willy? Goddamn liar, I can't trust you with a tape measure. Look at Callie. Just over there judging folks. Just judging the shit out of people. She reminds me of like those women that like, sitting around in a cafe talking shit about other women in their lives. Ain't that the funny thing about women? They're so f they're so nice to each other's faces, <laughs> and then they talk shit behind each other's backs. And then dudes, we talk shit to each other's faces, and then we're nice behind each other's backs. Like, well, don't talk about my homie, bruh. God. Like I said, if you were an ugly baby, I would have fucking chucked you this morning. That's right, I'm talking about you. Good lord. So what direction am I going in today? Am I doing the asphalt or the door? The door. I'm doing the door. Mm -hmm. Wife says we're doing the door. I guess we're doing the door. Okay, you said you watched my uh, YouTube video? Yes? Um, does that make me cool now? You guess so? Hear that, folks? I'm fucking cool. I'll take it. So, we got most everything taken off. There's the door. There's some of the trim pieces. Now, we got the hinges off. Now we gotta take off all this bullshit. But first, I think we gotta run our knife because this looks like just a piece of trim that they notched in there. We gotta take that off to expose the actual skeleton of the door. As you can see, it looks like absolute dog shit. Um, but yeah, that's why we're doing it all new. My damn cameramen are doing their chores right now. Lucky for me, they haven't formed a union yet and they haven't demanded pay. Uh, I'll stand my ground and tell them that I pay them in the form of Food and lodging, yeah, yeah. They have to earn their keep around here. Uh, anyways, uh, huh? See, there's one of them doing his chores. As you can see, we live in an active construction zone. Oh, there's one of the other projects that I did. Doesn't it look so nice? It looks a lot better than it did before. <laughs> Anywho. What we did was we scored that trim with a razor knife uh, because usually they caulk it and they uh, paint over it 
and it gets all adhered and such. Uh, so we don't want to uh, rip off anything that we don't want to rip off. Uh, but as you can see, we have a good opening right there that we can stick this guy in. If you don't have a handy dandy trim puller, I suggest you go get one because this thing is a lifesaver. So now we're going to pull off that trim and maybe if I get my cameraman back, uh, y'all might actually be able to see me do something. But right now, you'll just see it get done. So one of the things we just found out was that wasn't trim at all. That's plaster. So one of these things, one of the things about uh, a house built in 1905 is they didn't have uh, drywall back then. Uh, everything was uh, lath and plaster. So 95% of my house is lath and plaster. Um, I did not expect that to not be trim. I expected that to be trim. And now it's fucking plaster. So now that's another obstacle we have to overcome. Isn't that lovely? So, since that is plaster in there, we are going to change up our approach a little bit and just take this out from this way. And whatever it does to the plaster in there is whatever it does. And we will fix that when we get there. So we are going to be removing all of the said wood for the framework for the door remove this piece of shit that's fucking gone and then see what other pieces of shit lie underneath oh can of worms can of worms <sighs> So that piece has been removed. Uh, some of the plaster remained intact. Uh, some did not, which is all right. Uh, we don't really want it anyway. And the damaged parts of the plaster, we will just end up mudding. Um, my lovely wife actually has become quite good at repairing the plaster. Uh, this plaster is 100 plus years old. And so uh, it just gets more and more brittle over time. So if you go and touch it and do, and do anything to it, uh, it wants to crumble. Uh, however, I'll show you some of the work, handiwork that she's done. Okay. As you can see, we removed some of the trim in here because we're going to be putting down carpet in here anyway, so I wanted to carpet the whole thing. But she just took regular drywall mud. Regular drywall mud. Um, and went over the patches. And it was that simple. Obviously, some spots are going to need two coats and whatever. And that's all right. We'll do two coats, sand, texture, paint. It'll be good as new. But we'll show you all that when we get there. Well, we have to finish uh, insulating the crawl space. And the boy who thinks he's all right with a tape measure, we'll see how he does, is down there. My little behind the scenes people, they do uh, they do pretty good. Hi. Hi. Hey. Are you gonna help your brother? Yeah, sure. I got socks. Well, you gotta put socks and shoes on then. Hey. Ain't nobody gonna be a uh, barefoot down here. Are you sure it's not 14, 16? Yes. Oh, you're oh you're okay. Sure. 14, 16. Yeah, I measured 15, 16 for the rack. I'm going to like sure it's not 14, 16. I well, got caught in a rat trap. Guys, shut up. Yeah, there's rat traps down there. There's literally two side by side. 
Why? Why are there so many? Well, are there rats down there? Not anymore. We have cats. Well, there you go. That's. See, look at her. Just cutting that insulation. Don't tell them this, but I am so damn proud of my children. 13 and almost 14 and learning how to work with their hands. It's a beautiful thing. Again, I don't tell them I said this though. I don't want them getting too big of a head. So our opening <laughs> is 30 and three quarter inches. Okay, 30 and three quarter inches. Why? Move, dog. And our height opening is three quarters, thirteen and three quarters by eight eighty-one and three quarters. As you can see, eighty-one and three quarters. Have the cameraman right here. She's the only one that's not currently cutting or fixing anything, so Adrian's the new cameraman. Say hi to everybody. Hi. 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 Oh my God, you're going to be a YouTube star. Yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. All right. We're YouTube family. So as you can see, that's going to pose a problem. It says rough opening. 34 and a half inches, 82 and a half inches tall. So, we gotta make that bigger. And of course, my wife doesn't wanna get a door that would fit that. No, 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 no. She wants this one. Of course, right? Right? Why would it be any different? So, from those measurements, we have to move and cut this out quite a bit. As you can see that crow's foot right there. That's what that's close to three and three quarter inches that away. Um we can't go this way any further because there's a conveniently placed window right there um so we can't really go that way any further with it however we have oodles of room this way so what we're going to do is we're going to go this way now like you saw got crow's foot i got one up there i got one right there I got one right there. Now, all of those measurements were pulled from over there, butting straight into this. However, uh, this door was very out of square and, well, just, just overall fucked up. Um, so, we're going to hold a level and see if, uh, if it's level in these crow's feet match up. If it's not, we have a slightly bigger problem, and we have to cross a new bridge. Stay tuned. We got lucky. As you can see, we are level. That crow's foot right there. There's a crow's foot right there. So I drew that line. We got lucky. First thing on this house that was semi-straight. Wow, I was not expecting that one. These damn dogs. You can't come in here. Poopsie. Poopsie. You can't come in here. Hanky, you can't come in here. Poopsie. Poops. You can't come in here. You cannot come in here. Who's your good puppers? Who's your good puppers? 30 and 3 eight by... Hank! Yeah, Hank, get the hell out of here, dum-dum. You're gonna step on a nail or something, man. Get, go on, get! Pop, 
Oops. Look over here, Dad. Oh my goodness. <laughs> She's curious, huh? Curious, Poopsie? Ah, uh, Poopsie. You got that one? I'm not your friend, buddy. Not your buddy, guy. Not your guy, friend. I'm not your friend, buddy. After a hard day at the coal mine. How you doing, son? I'm alright. Dirt ain't as bad as it thinks. Tastes pretty well. Tastes pretty good? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Did you send a canary in there before you went down there? No, I don't like watching animals die. Oh, so you figure you'd do it yourself? Yeah. No, I can dig that. Mm -hmm. I can respect that. <laughs> so. <sighs> I wonder if this mess, if OSHA would have anything to say about it. Only OSHA here is, oh shit. <laughs> no, I'm saying, no, I'm saying, all right, all right. Anyways, we are, uh, got sawdust in my eyes. We are cutting this out. <laughs> cutting that out. Uh, until my, until my blade broke on my brand new jigsaw. So, we're going to finish cutting that out, cut it out right there, right there, and then we're going to see if our door even fits in the rough opening. Hopefully it does, but the way things go around here, more than likely not, probably have to cut it like 14 times, but it's alright. Rather do that than cut it too big one time. Well, now that we're all the way as far down as we can go with the jigsaw. Now it's time to come across with our sawzall and take this out the rest of the way. And then we'll see what kind of issues await us then. Cause I'm gonna be inside of that plaster wall too. So that's gonna be great. Well, we got it all the way cut. And all it took was a little bit of a pry. And now, here we are. I can see that that cut isn't very straight. It's kinda out of taper. So that's probably gonna pose an issue. Uh, but again, cross that bridge when we get there. Uh, look at that. That chunk is out. Crazy. All right more removal gotta take this guy out and away we go so we got that big old chunk out now I would venture to say that opening is large enough for that new door at least I would fucking hope so uh, we're gonna go grab the door bring it over here set it in that opening and see what we got to do for framing to get it better man i can't say enough about these kids and how much they help this behind the scenes cleanup work that they do you have no idea how helpful it is i just love these kids to pieces man look at maddie all enthusiastic so enthusiastic. Look at Harley picking up dog shit with his bare hands. That's dedication right there. What? I would say there's sticks too if I were you. It's all, well, when the dog shit hardens, it turns into like a stick. It's all right, son. That's dedication. Look at that big old piece of dog shit he threw. Ain't that nice? And then I have my cheerleading section right here. Couldn't ask for prettier cheerleaders. <sighs> well, we got the first layer of the plywood subfloor in. Uh, of course, we have to go back to Home Depot because I don't have enough plywood for the second layer. That has to go on top. 
Oh goodness. Now this is posing its own set of problems. Well, I wouldn't quite say problems. I have to, uh, at first this thing was very out of square, the way it sits to the door or to the wall. It's extremely out of square. Uh, in order to get it square, I would have to shove this out roughly there. Um, but as you can see, that would cause quite an issue when it comes to, comes time to putting a wall back together and out here. Can't really tell, but this is roughly four inches to the back of here. And I already have an inch and seven eighths to deal with right here, which is, that's easy enough. I'm not worried about that. But um, I think we're gonna have to deal with the door being out of square and bringing it flush to in here which is all right I guess it's just gonna be an eyesore unless I wanted to start knocking out walls and redoing an entire house that is still standing um, I don't really see any other way and how to do it uh, so of course we got to go back to Home Depot now uh, to get another piece of plywood and door shims so I can frame that back in shim this frame back up so it's nice and level and then install my door after I install the second layer of plywood subfloor. Yay! So I'm currently trying to put this door in. Um, and my wife keeps walking up and asking me, where do I think plants would look nice? Um, I don't know exactly how to tell her that I've, I've searched my memory banks and I thought and I thought and I thought and I just for the life of me could not remember when the last time I gave a fuck was well I think I'm done for the day I'm tired um, and I mean I got a fair amount accomplished so the door is in but it's not secure I mean kind of secure uh, I still have a lot of work to do as far as framing this back in siding it getting this this back section all uh, framed in I have some serious work on that top to do and also with this side However, we will get there. Slowly but surely, we will get there. I have to keep remembering that it's a, it's a marathon, not a sprint. I always want to rush, rush, rush and get things done right now. That's when you start messing up. So, I'm going to call it a day.